Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. You're probably wondering, what will these five steps do for you when you realize that there is no hope? Nobody can understand. Well, for once, when we are in such a situation, psychologically, we distort reality. We feel despair and that desperation makes us feel that in front of us there are mountains that we cannot climb. The five steps that I brought up are a way of flattening the mountain so we can see what is behind the mountain. Remember, you went through a challenge that brought you into a place you never imagined you would get. You're overwhelmed. You feel lost. You have no possible way that you can think that can get you in any good place. From this point on, things only look getting worse. And it is true because in front of you stands a mountain that gets in the way between you and the opportunity that lays in front of you. We're going through the five steps because we cannot do it alone. I repeat myself, this low place we find ourselves after we fail make us distort reality and be unable to realize what is that we can do, our options. So when we get that expert and again, not everybody can be the expert. We need to search carefully because even if he or she is recommended to us, if we don't feel that kind of good fit, it is not a good fit. He's, he or she is not the person that can take us through, that can flatten the mountain for us so we can see what is behind that. So after we find that person, we feel we can trust, we feel they can understand, then we start engaging with that person, series of discussions. Because when we talk, we bring forward thoughts and feelings that are freed in our attempt to share with somebody else. But as they get freed, we are able to feel lighter and understand and be more empowered. Just by starting talking about our situations, we start feeling more empowered. You see, the thoughts and feelings that are buried inside us accumulated as part of the journey we had going through the challenge as long as they are inside us motivating us to take actions or behave one way or another they're very toxic they're not helping they cause us emotional fatigue it is when we start bringing them forward and talking about them that that emotional fatigue subsides and we start feeling lighter and we start actually feeling that huge mountain not being as high. It is after we talk with someone that feels, can hear us and can understand us. Then, once we have that kind of relationship, we start going. Actually, even though we don't feel it, we start climbing 
out of that dark hole, failing the challenge has brought us. We actually start going out of that hole. And as we are going out of that hole, looking back, we are able to see ourselves being in that hole we are able to see the feelings and the thoughts, the emotions that we experienced and we start building a whole world of skills that only result after we first end up in that dark hole from failing the challenge and then from coming gradually out of that hole. It is looking back and reliving those moments as we are coming out of that hole through our talking with the expert that builds us, builds strength, builds us up and helps us see that we are actually having a different outlook of what has happened to us. And we start coming slowly closer to the possibility that with the skills we have acquired from being in that black hole and coming out from that, we are going to get into opportunities that are only possible if we have had that journey if we have those skills that no books can bring to us. No make-believe exercises can bring to us, but only life. Therefore, if you ever found yourself in a very bad predicament, think of the five steps, the moment that you can stop that fall and try to apply them as fast as you can so you're able to grab on those five steps and start coming out of that black hole so that you in turn learn from just seeing your experiences the empowerment and enlightenment that you gain while you were there and on your way out. I hope this podcast is helpful to you and I pray that you will always remember it when life brings that turn to you. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.